High-Performance Computing has a long tradition at the Johannes Gutenberg University in Mainz. Our groups from soft matter systems, from nuclear physics, are using high-performance computing systems since more than two decades now. For us in Mainz, it has been a turning point in 2012 when we centralized our HPC facilities at the ZEV, the local data center of our university. It has been for the first time that one machine was opened for all of our customers here at the university and where there has been one team which has been built up in that time frame to support all of our scientists in the different areas of science. Morgan 2 now consists of more than 820 nodes and is running at a peak performance of more than 550 teraflops per second. What is also very interesting for us is that the energy consumption has been reduced from nearly 600 watts to less than 300 kilowatts in peak, so that our energy bill could be reduced a lot by turning to the new system. The technical optimization point for this machine is slightly different than the one of Mogon 1. While Mogon 1 focuses on single node performance with 64 cores and QDR InfiniBand, this machine focuses more on the parallel performance taking 20 corpus per node and OmniPass as the global interconnect. Another remarkable point of the Mogon 2 is that it features a fast SSD in every node. This will enable us to do more intelligent I.O. optimizations on applications needing a fast I.O. We can use them as burst buffers, we can use them for checkpoints and we expect that machine to scale to other dimensions. During the procurement, the decision between OmniPath and InfiniBand was not fixed. OmniPath turned out to be the better solution in this case, given two cases. First was obviously the price, and the second was that at least some of the benchmarks work better. New applications now running on Mogon 1 and Mogon 2 are coming from the domains of life science including biology and medicine. We have a lot of new applications from the weather and climate research domain, but also applications from politics and economics, which just start to use HPC computing and which just start to see which new tools they can get by using big data analytics and predictive science. Due to the cost constraints you have in, usually in HPC, we decided to go with a cost-optimal solution for cooling. Each rack is equipped with a water-cooled rear door, which takes away the heat from the air from the servers. The server pass their hot air with their own fans through the rear door, which takes away then the heat. The only situation where you have to add, add hardware to the rack is the location where you have the switches. Because the switches are located at the back of the rack, and they would sit only in hot air. So you put in some extra fans which blow some of the cold air to the back of the rack. The situation with Mogon 2 is now very comparable to the situation with Mogon 1. We've had a very tough schedule to build up our system, to run our benchmarks and to hand in the results to the top 500 list. And again, we have been successful to work with Macware and uh, to get in these results in time. 